Good afternoon. Today is June 7th, about 5 p.m. I just wanted to make a little recording of an experience I had at Sastud City Hospital when I met with the manager, Brian Jarkison, a well-educated MBA, neatly groomed person, never a crease in his shirt. And um, I had sent to him a 22-page document that he should share with the nurses because there were particular few nurses that had very bad hygiene practices. And anyways, uh, on this particular day, I stunk with body odor. I stunk with body odor even though I was at a bed bath in the morning and as I make this video it is approaching almost 10 weeks since I have had a shower here because of refusal that doesn't seem to be explainable to me or justifiable but when I met with uh, the manager Brian Jorgensen he indicated it's not uncommon to have body odor it's no big deal and I I've been reflecting on it and I thought you know what this is very very wrong instead of saying something like well I will discuss it with the, with the caregivers in charge to, to correct the procedure he took a position of total defense about how great they are on hygiene which is really pushing the limits of becoming a lie and more importantly to stand over me and tell me that's okay if you stink Larry and um, it happens to all of us well all I can say from my own personal experience I don't recall me stinking when I was healthy I was well all you would say well cared of in terms of my own hygiene practices and given the fact that I generally just lay in bed and sometimes sweat when I get suction yeah I sweat uh, almost immediately and uh, there seemed to be a total disregard of, of understanding uh, these conditions of an ALS patient in, in particular to me all I want to say Brian that was a really hypocritical position to take you as a professional never see a crease in your shirt you're well groomed you walk around as though well, you have been manicured every day and to stand over me and tell me that it's okay to stink like a pig I totally disagree and uh, maybe that's why there are bad hygiene practices because you really don't care you are all out to protect something that can be easily corrected. I don't know why education doesn't play a bigger role in understanding my care and hygiene. But anyways, I just wanted to make this recording because till the day I die, I will remember how you stood over me and made it look like watershed. Well, I'm going to tell you one thing. Um, this is not watershed for me. This is a complete embarrassment and a defiance of uh, proper care to eliminate these type of uh, situations. I have visitors that have comment I stink with body odor that wasn't in the past and these type of things. Oh, and I know what the reply is. We're doing our best. Oh, I, I wasn't there. Well, I remember I was there and I still have my senses of smell, taste, and etc. So, um, I think it was very, very belligerent of you to show such a shallow interest in my hygiene and care. Anyways, this is a message that I have made uh, to record that, that day that I will always remember. And Brian, you have a, have a good uh, week at work.